Hi there, it's me again, and it's a brand new night, and um, this is like the video vlog that would not end. So tonight I'm going to talk about um, Norwex, and I don't know if you've ever heard of them or not before. They're, um, they're an environment-friendly um, product that you can use uh, for cleaning supplies. And I have a friend who um, sells it, and I started seeing all kinds of great feedback online from Facebook about how different friends of mine was started using the product and going to the parties and saw the actual demonstrations and were just blown away by this product. And um, one of the things that I kept seeing over and over and over again is that their children could use this to help clean because it is environment friendly and there's no chemicals in it. So um, it's safe for little hands. And um, especially with kids with allergies and other issues, that's a big thing. I've got a child with asthma, and so I was very, um, very interested in this product and trying it out. So I got the uh, basic kit here, and what came in my kit is this window cloth, and um, I'm really excited about this cloth, so I may tend to talk about this one a lot tonight. Um, this is the dust mitt. And then also the Envir cloth. And um, I'll just give a, a few quick tidbits about each cloth and tell you how we use them. And I'm gonna start with my favorite, which is the window cloth. Um, the window cloth is very easy to use. And um, you can use it on glass surfaces. You can use it on granite. You can use it on countertops. You can use it on stovetops. I use it on stainless steel. Um, pretty much any kind of surface that you wanna clean off. And this is all you need right here to clean with. So this is just a plain $2 water bottle from Walmart or Publix. I don't even know where. And this is the cloth itself. And to use this, you just take your water bottle and you spray it on your glass surface and then you wipe clean. And I have a video or a few pictures, I can't remember which, of, this, of me using this product. And um, it's so easy to use and it cut my time in half. And my children are actually, they actually kind of fight over this part. Um, this is a new chore that I've allowed them to take on because um, there's no chemicals involved. I, in the past, I had let Bella, or I had let Thing One um, use Windex and clean because I have a whole wall behind my kitchen table that is all glass. And then that whole entire kitchen area is windows, huge windows with no blinds. And I get a lot of tiny fingerprints and handprints and just all kinds of goodies on my, my uh, windows and, and my mirrors. And so in the past, I had let Thing 1 use Windex to kind of help me out. But then Thing 3 got involved and Thing 2 got involved because there was a spray bottle in the mix. And so I had to cut that out. But now that this is just a water bottle and a cloth, I'm happy to let them duke it out over who wants to have this chore. And they do because whoever has possession of the water bottles like king in this house so they really enjoy helping with that and um, I've used it on my stovetop my granite my glass pretty much everything like I said um, I tried it on my granite and here was the interesting thing I was a little skeptical at first because I'm used to using a cleaner and a polish that's two different chemicals two different rags and so it does take time for me to clean my countertops in my kitchen and when I just simply wipe off my granite with water, um, and those who have granite, I'm sure you can testify, it leaves like a film right on top. And I have black granite countertops, and you can see it um, pretty evidently that, you know, that film is right there. And so without me actually getting out the cleaning product and the polish, it doesn't look quite as nice. I was a little skeptical if this is going to turn out the same way, and I tried it, and I was surprised. There wasn't that film. It actually looked like it had been polished, and it cleaned out the water spots and the glass spots from, you know, wet, wet cups or sippy cups, and it got all the, the dirt and stuff off of there. So I was very excited about that. You have no idea getting rid of two of those chemicals, which when I use those spray, the fumes, because I use a can that you shake, the fumes from that is just, when I start cleaning in the kitchen, they know, and, and they start scattering. And so I'm, I was very excited. I used it on my stovetop, and I have a glass um, um, stovetop, and um, it got up all of the watermarks and um, the simple food stains and stuff. I had trouble with one uh, spot that was really cooked, on there. I'm not sure what I cooked and what was left on there, but I couldn't get it off. 
and it had nothing to do with Norwex not doing its job. Actually, I got out the chemical and um, the stovetop cleaner, and I still couldn't get it off with a scrubber. I mean, it was really well cooked on there. So one of the things that I'm looking at is I know that they have a polish. Um, Norwex sells a polish for the, the, that, that particular type of stuff, and um, I definitely want to look into try, trying that out on my stovetop um, because if I can eliminate that other one, I would really like to because that one I have to use gloves for and being pregnant and I just, I'd rather not. If I can get eliminate that too and go with something better, then I'd like to do that as well. The next thing that um, I would like to talk about is the dusting mitt. And it is so handy, no pun intended. And on this one, um, it's just, I mean, it's very easy to use. You just sort of wipe clean if there's, if you want to sort of, um, you know, just damp it a little bit to, if you have like a heavily dusty area, like a bookshelf or something like that, you can wet it down just a little bit. I would probably just, you know, squirt a few squirts on here and not stick it under running water though. And, um, and just wipe clean and, but we have bookcases. We have a library upstairs. And so that thing is always collecting dust. And so this is handy for that. And I use it on my bed. Um, you know, the, the rails here and the mirror behind me and um, the table, side tables, anything that's wood, anything that needs to be dusted. This thing, and it's great because you're not, I mean, it's just your hand, so you can just, you know, it's, it's always nice to have a mitten instead of like a rag that's kind of clumsily, you know, snagging um, pictures and other things around it. So um, there's that. And this is the EnviroCloth. And this one is used, these are so soft. The, this one is actually used to um, help clean up dirt, grease, grime. You can use it on your walls and um, the stern screensaver. Um, you can use it on your walls too. So I have a big issue with uh, the things splattering food, on, especially around the kitchen walls. You can use it to clean. One thing I'll say is that this is nice because it doesn't take off the paint. I've tried the Magic Erasers and those actually remove the paint from my walls. If you're if you don't actually have like a glossy, really nice paint, a more expensive paint, I guess, on your walls, because um, we had walls in Texas and that was never the case here in this house. I think because it's maybe an eggshell um, coating, it just just takes right just takes the paint right off, and I haven't had an issue with this. Um, again, on this one, you can use it dry or you can use it wet. And I don't I don't know if I would soak this one uh, for the purposes that you know you would use this for. Um, again, I would just spray it. So grease and, and any of that good stuff um, is what this is for. So to clean these, you would throw them in your laundry. Um, I would probably just do the cloths together and you would do them on a gentle cycle. And um, I wouldn't even put them in the, I wouldn't put them in the um, dryer at all. I'd actually dry, dry these on their own outside. And um, the reason being is because they're microfiber and you don't want to put dryer sheets in there. You don't want to put um, bleach, in, for instance, in, in, in your washing machine cycle because you'll ruin this. And they actually do sell specific um, laundry products just for this product, um, the, the detergent just for the Norwex cloths to clean them. But um, I've actually used the purple one, which is the window cloth, which is my favorite one because I use this one the most. Um, I've actually used this one, you know, a few times over and let it sit out and dry before throwing it in a washer and it works just fine. So this is my new baby and my new project and it has saved me time and money. And again, my kids are back involved in helping with, um, all the mess they're making behind that kitchen table. So, um, I'm very giddy about this. And if you're wondering, yes, they do have these available in child size, um, packet. So you can give your kid their own cleaning Norwex packet and they could just hop along with their happy water bottle. And trust me, you give them a water bottle in one of these cloths and they're not only going to help you, but they're going to be happy doing it. So, um, everybody wins. So thank you again for tuning in. And right below this, I'm going to post a link to Rebecca Adams Cannon's, um, Norwex page where you can order straight directly from her and um, she did provide these costs for me to use and try out and I am so happy with them and 
Um, like I said, there's a few more products that I want to get. So if you're interested, I will host a web party for this product. And um, that way you can win and I can win and I maybe can get some more polish. So I hope you've enjoyed this post and I hope you guys have a great night. And tomorrow look for the breakfast post for the, um, the, bis the biscuits, freezable biscuits. Okay, that's it. Thanks so much.